Previously, with FlexScan 3D, users will need to use the automatic hole filling from the finalized step, where users cannot tell what holes are being filled. However, with the new interactive hole filling, we can fill holes easily by selecting a region or by selecting a specific hole. You can find the interactive hole filling under the hole filling tab. And now I'll open up a scan. So here I have a scan. You can see everything that's highlighted in green means that there's a hole. On the left hand side, you can see there's an autofill slider bar. What this does is that it specifies the hole sizes based on the percentage of the largest hole. So as I increase the slider bar, you can see holes are being highlighted in blue. So right now I'll do a 18% hole fill. So basically everything that's in blue will get filled. Like that. And I can also do a revert, which actually reverts anything back to your last operation if you don't like the results. The next thing that I can do is actually select specific holes like that, like the top of the head, and do a hole fill. Or alternatively, you can select a region of holes like that and do a hole fill. And finally, we can do bridges. This is especially useful if you have a large hole or some complicated holes or a hole like this where there's no end to it. So I'll do a to a bridge and fill this specific hole. And there you have it, our brand new interactive hole filling feature. Thanks for watching.